with some uh, single blade styles for uh, upcoming Prop EOS 3. Um, and also, since uh, it's almost uh, Rise of Skywalker time, I put together a ray font or a ray style. Um, so this has a responsive blade. So what responsive blade is, is the faster you swing, the brighter this will be. Now, oops. now this will be um, closer to canon, so this doesn't go pure white. This goes to uh, an azure. So medium swings will get a little brighter. And then really fast, it's a blue-white. So the uh, responsive blade uses a uh, swing speed. So this has a two-stage um, swing speed function. Um, so it'll get a little bit more bright, and then so that azure uh, blue-white color based on the speed. Um, this also has all the transition effects. So it's got the power-up that you saw. It has a uh, retraction, so there's a cool down on retraction, power up on ignition. Um, it also has, um, I've actually put uh, reverse power ripple, so power ripple is something we put together for Kylo. Um, so what it is is on lockup now, um, during, uh, when you first start lockup, there'll be a ripple effect to the center of the blade, there'll be localized lockup, and then when you release lockup, there'll be a ripple effect out. Um, so that's been added here. So. So that's uh, a ripple in and a ripple out uh, as two transitions around the localized lockup. Um, on drag, there'll be a, uh, a quick flash of the tip, and then there'll be a fade out when it's done. So that's the drag. And then on stab, there's going to be a wipe in effect and a fade out. So there's a the wipe in of the tip, and then it'll fade back out. So this is now available up on the library, so this is the uh, Deep Sky Blue for Ray, um, and it does have responsive swing, um, and then I've got a couple of the color variations I put together while I was working on it. Luke Skywalker. So this is a green version, um, it's almost exactly the same, although the color mixes are different. So this is a green blade, and then uh, it has responsive blades, so it'll get a little brighter. And then it goes to the, the mint cream color, so it's an almost white green, based on the speed of the swing. So a little swing is a little brighter, and fast swing is uh, very white green, um, so it looks really good in person. Hopefully the camera is picking it up. And then, again, it's got the power up and cool down effects, so cool down, power up, and then it's got the, the ripple in. Localized lockup, ripple out. And then, of course, same with drag. And then it's got the stab again with the white bin and the fade out. Responsive blade does have some variants in color that you can see pretty nicely. Um, and then lastly, so this is now a gold blade. Um, so uh, it's it's kind of an orangey yellow mix that I put together. Um, so then it's got power up, and this has a responsive blade. This will go. It'll get a little more white based on the speed of the swing. The, uh, all the same effects built in, so it'll have the power ripple in, localized lockup, ripple out, and then the drag. And stab, wipe in, fade out. So this is a more of a yellow gold blade color. Again, with responsive uh, blade. And this is the pull to the darkness font. So this is actually under the Kylo styles for cross guard, but if you want it on a single blade, um, you would just take the main blade code. Um, so there's in the cross guards, 
uh, under Kylo, you'll see Pulse of the Darkness. Um, so this starts out. Uh, oops, I grabbed the wrong style. So this is the unstated effect. Let's see, so it should be this one. Kylo Ren. Okay, so this is Pulse of the Darkness. Um, so it starts out as the ray, um, deep sky blue, and has the responsive swing. Um, but what Pull to the Darkness, using the color change function, um, this actually allows um, for you to go from light side blue to an unstable red. So now this will go to the unstable red, and this is a Kylo Ren effect, and it does have the responsive blade design. It's got the localized lockup. Everything. Stab. So this has, with Pulse of the Darkness, you can go to the Unstable Red, and then if you want, you can go back. Oops. To Light Side Blue, and again, you get all the same effects of the Light Side Blue. This has oops, so this is now um, this will be under the cross guard styles for Pulse of Darkness, but you can add that to your blade as well. Um, not sure if we'll see it in the film. I haven't seen the film yet, so I don't know. Um, but seeing as some of the trailers showed uh, some uh, dark side gray, I figured I'd include this one as well. So all the styles are up in the library. Um, feel free to enjoy and. Hopefully uh, everybody enjoys the movie.